Why hello there! Welcome to my sample series. This is why I showcase games running on enhanced or next-gen consoles in 4K and or HDR. I am back to Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 4 this week, and I'm going to jump right in here. Uh, so yeah, last week was the first one of these videos I had uploaded in a while. I showcased me flying around the game in this with the mount, one of the new things you get in this sequel. Unfortunately, uh, despite the efforts I made, I could not get rid of the blue artifacting in that recording that I would made. So it's definitely present in there. In my defense, it wasn't visible in the preview window. Um, and I only observed it after I uh, record, finished recording and watched it. And by that time, I had already made three attempts and I wasn't in the mood for making another one. Especially because I still didn't know how to fix it. Well, since then, I have in fact fixed it. Apparently I need to have both YUV 2160p set to the resolution and limited uh, RGB set to the RGB level. And I made a test video of this already and confirmed that the blue artifacting is in fact gone. So, um, that should not be an issue. But if I go for a long period of time again without of not making these videos and come back and find that the PS4 due to whatever update it has received changes its um, resolution setting and RGB setting I'll have to I may experience this all over again I don't know why it does that in fact when, before I make one of these videos with the Xbox Series X I'm gonna have to check that as well but regardless I'm back and I'm just gonna showcase more of this game Without the blue artifacting. <laughs> so yeah, this is a post-completed uh, game save file. Dumps you back into the world and allows you to take on side objectives that you may have missed. I'm back here at the base. I'm just going to show more of the world. Might take on some side missions. Might take on some rebel outpost. I'm not sure yet. But yeah. Here is my base. I feel like I could make an entire video just devoted to this spot on the map right here. Not going to do that in this instance, but I'll showcase a little bit of it. Here's my room, my stash, some of the things I've collected. Actually, it's more like things I've encountered that just show up here. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly someone's office at some point. That monitor has seen better days. This world has seen better days. <laughs> sort of a map room right here with a map of the world. Not sure what that thing at the bottom is. Can't really interact with this, unfortunately. I have no idea what this thing's all about. I might be able to open this thing. Hey, look, I've never been in this event. Let's see if it leads somewhere interesting. There's still another room. What for? Switch to a private lock? Okay, so, regional control center nine. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Oh. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. Alright, it's an audio log.
there's clearly something in there, but I cannot seem to get in there at the moment, so that's a little annoying. Oh, I got some health items. <laughs> Not the most useful thing at the moment, but I'll take them. I wonder how you get in there. Oh well, maybe I'll have to wait for a future video. But I found something new in this. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a pretty cool game. It's not like groundbreaking or revolutionary like I think the uh, the first game was. But it's still pretty good in and of its own right. This is a treasure chest that things will periodically show up in. Resources and such. Another room with more holographic lights. A model of the ship that might be in orbit? I'm not sure. Hmm. All right. I just thought, you know, I am recording this video in, at 4K, 2160p at 30 FPS and in HDR. The game actually renders at a checkerboard. Um, 1800p on the ps4 pro and i am running it recording this and running it at 30 frames a second i think i already mentioned that let's go up here this is where gaia is in this planetarian room Gonna be able to fix the biosphere with Hephaestus back out in the wild? With its escape to the global cauldron network, Hephaestus has resumed its operations and increased its security protocols. I am already formulating options to recontain it. Additionally, I will utilize the capabilities of my remaining subordinate functions and make every effort to stave off collapse of the biosphere. I am certain it will gain us some time. Sounds good. Sounds like something we'll have to take care of in the inevitable sequel, or perhaps DLC for this game. Now, this is the um, main attraction of this um, room, and that is the ability to see different parts of the um, in-game world that you have collected from these surveyor drones. projected onto the roof of this planetarium. For example, here's the ruins of San Francisco. Ah, get that HDR going, eh? <laughs> Since uh, one of the collectibles, you basically find these drones hovering around the environment, you need to get up to them, bring them down to the ground, and collect their data and plug into that thing. Just a, yeah, like I said, it's a, another collectible. This thing will, in fact, disappear once you walk in, once you leave the room and go back to the night sky. I've only collected a little under half of the drones that this game has. Maybe even only a third, really. All right. Let's head back out. Let's do some exploring, perhaps even some side questing. Probably not going to be able to do very much. Fine, I basically have to limit these videos to half an hour, otherwise they'll never um, resolve to their full resolution. Get my bird. It's still the fastest way to travel in game. There probably will, there may be spoilers. Because this is a completed save file, so just let me know in advance. And let's take a look at what's nearby that we could investigate. We have these question marks. Um, let's go to this one. My hope. 
is I can, can go back to doing these videos every on a regular basis. I think I can. Because I no longer do my daily long play streams on Tuesdays. Gives me time to do these videos then. This wreck scattered all across this mountain. Alright. Always gathering medicine. The signal's coming from behind that rubble. If I can get through to it. Pretty sure I can. Black box recording. Ten to one engines. Mountainous terrain. And you actually landed it. How did you do that? You saved our lives. Yeah. But it's what? Four hours before the swarm gets here. I should have let us all die in an instant. Now the twelve of us are trapped, waiting for the end. It must have been hmm. terrifying. Just waiting in there for the war machines to arrive. Yeah, not every question mark on this map is a big thing. Sometimes they're just small things like uh, that. A lot of the time, actually. Alright. Let's go find more stuff. There's a question mark over here. This will also give me an opportunity to somewhat make up for the um, kind of crappy quality of the first video I did of this game. It's not actually bad. The jaggies are really only noticeable. No, I mean, the blue artifacting is really only noticeable in the um, in dark se scenes. Like the menu. This menu. And nighttime. Yep, it, it getting kind of loads like that. I am playing this on a PS4 Pro as opposed to a PS5, so this game does have occasional loading like that. All right. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, now it's shooting at my bird. Gotta repair it. Come on, bird. Getting another one of these things would be a pain. I'd rather not deal with that. The component I shot off. Alright, so let's hit this flower here and see what it's um covering up. Resources. Fire is wasted on that machine. All right. Moving on. Moving on to the next question mark. Yeah, I might as well just take care of some of these, um, investigate some of these question marks while I'm making a 
sort of a unfocused video like this. Still not entirely sure what the next game I want to focus, do one of these videos on. Probably not my current, uh, the subject of my current daily long play stream, though, the, um, Tunic on the Xbox Series X. It's not exactly ideal type, that's not exactly an ideal type of game for this. But maybe, if there's interest, people are interested in seeing that game in a higher quality video, let me know in the comments. You know in the comments below and I will oblige. Unfortunately I'm still in the process of playing through that game and I've unfortunately came to the point where I can no longer figure it out how to proceed uh, without looking stuff up. So yeah, when I get back to that game that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I've already completed that thing. Head to the next question mark, I guess, which will be here. Yeah. I guess I could have showcased uh, this game from the ground perspective of, hey, I have a ground mount as well, but this is just more interesting and faster, too. Like I'll find another black box here. The locator shows there's another aircraft reporting here. That's right, there are creatures in here other than machines. Yeah, they were. There's another locator beacon on the same frequency. Might as well activate this shelter while I'm at it. Gives me another fast travel point. That's right, you can grapple to this bird. It's quite awesome, I think. Head to the swampy area next. I'm alerting an enemy while I'm not aggroing it, at least. Fire gleam. All right. Might have to do a little swimming to get to this thing. what's down here not a lot and not the thing I landed here for either not getting in that way
a little bit of underwater footage for you. For you. I have a breathing apparatus that allows me to breathe underwater so you don't have to worry about sudden Sonic the Hedgehog style. You're running out of air music popping in. It'd be pretty messed up if the game did that. I hated that. Always have, always will. If I play underwater sections of Sonic games, I mute <laughs> the audio. As dumb as that is. Okay, I guess I collected it. Let's get back topside and uh, get to our bird before it starts being attacked by the nonsense that's out there. And yes, it can pluck me from the water. Quite versatile that way. Flying enemy there, that's gonna be annoying if it catches me. This metal flower. It only takes three wax to open it up. Doesn't seem like there is much in here. All right, moving on. Remains of giant machines. Yep. Let's see what's in here. I wonder if it's going to be like a big uh, mission or something. Hope not. I don't have time to do one of those now. A watch of some kind? The swimming uh, controls is not as bad as you might expect from a game like this, but it's still not great. An active console. Nobody that I know of, at least thinks the underwater level is their favorite level in any game. There are evacs outside, Doc. Doc, thank God. One the vault key. Is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it here. Uh-oh. Yep, that was audio coming from the, um... The controller. Hmm. Interesting. 
Well then, that gives me a idea for a future for a future stream I could do about this game, tracking down these remaining keys. Cause I found a um a vault on one of the extreme corners of the map. Let's get my bird. That I needed four keys in order to get into. It's like way all the way down there I think or actually I'm not sure where it is but it's pretty far away actually there's a question mark down here so I think I'll head there next and get moving quickly because I've already aggroed a flying enemy that's not helpful <laughs> and look there's another one No, I don't. I'm fine. You can stop that game. You can stop showing that. That's basically this game's version of the Loch Ness Monster. At least that's the way I interpret it. Cool. Oops. I hurt myself. Ah, here we go. Here's something. I still don't really know what those things are actually for, though. Alright, sometimes that's all there is to these question marks. Just a bit of uh, that green material. Oh, alright, there you are. I've been taking the skies. I've turned around up here. Push up there. Alright, is there another question mark I can get to within a reasonable time frame? Possibly here? Let's see, it's kind of far away, but I'll see if I can make it. I guess while I'm flying there, I might as well do my usual outro routine uh, by uh, thanking you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos, whether they be in live or even in archive form. Uh, just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Wednesday through Sunday. At the moment, I'm still playing through Tunic as of the time of this recording, but I hope to um, finish up that game soon and move on to my next game, which will likely be Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Also on the Xbox Series X. <laughs> That's a game I actually found a used copy of for a pretty cheap price. And then like two days later, they added it to Game Pass. Oh, great. Good timing on my part. And I'm also trying to do a video like this on a regular basis and having it published on Fridays. So, yeah. Hopefully I can get back to doing that, and I'd also like to get back to doing, like, Monday night streams. I did one recently, uh, show playing more of Tunic, simply because I wanted to um, see if I could finish up the game that night. I couldn't. But if I can get back to doing either retro Monday streams or Monday night streams on a regular basis, that would be good as well. Yeah, these uh, loading screens are not helping me get there in time. I 
flash of air. Yep, that's the um the game. Not quite loading in its assets. Another new machine. Data point. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for me today, folks. Until next time, take it easy.